Greetings, my wonderful friend, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a glorious Lord's Day it is to be able to come back and to share just a few thoughts with you today. Uh, but before I do, I would certainly like to remind you of an opportunity that you may have to worship with us this week at First Baptist Nashville. Uh, Dr. Fred Evers will be preaching for us every Sunday evening at 7 uh, through uh, Tuesday night. Yes, we're beginning Super Bowl Sunday night. We're going to have a super night tonight at First Baptist Church. Daniel Cruz, who is a soloist from Jacksonville First, will be uh, leading music and special music, and he's going to do a concert for us Wednesday evening. And we certainly would enjoy you coming uh, and being with us and uh, hearing the Word of God and hearing this great man of God sing for you. He is wonderful, has a wonderful voice, so we'd certainly like to have you to come. Now, I want to bring you a thought today that I've titled, uh, Worldly and Spiritually. What is worldly and what is spiritual? In uh, Luke's Gospel, chapter number 12, verse 29, uh, beginning with verse 29, we read these words. And do not seek uh, what you are to eat or what you are to drink, nor do you need to be worried. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you have need of them. Instead, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. My friend, as we begin to think about worldly and spiritual things, we need to know uh, that uh, God knows that we need food and drink. And as we begin to think about that, we know uh, that God knows we need the basic necessities of life to live more fully each day where we put our heart uh, determines the fullness of our life. Worrying about what uh, the worldly cares may be, it carries a heavy price. You see, worldly worries cause human greed to set in, and then our hunger and thirst for these worldly things begin to, to increase beyond limits. Where we need to put our focus is seeking uh, and determining uh, our walk with God, the outcome of our faith and our life. If we'll put our focus uh, on our seeking uh, upon Him instead of the worldly, the worldly things, our life will be filled with fullness. We'll have the abundant life. But if we constantly uh, dwell on the worldly things and wanting of the worldly things and living for the worldly things, uh, there will be an emptiness in the soul. I believe that there is a void in every soul that's born into this world. And that void is wanting to be filled with something. And the greatest thing that we can fill that void with is the Lord Jesus Christ who can give us peace and contentment. Many people live their lives, my friend, uh, seeking to find enjoyment and pleasure, seeking to fill what I call that hole in their soul with everything except what it needs to be filled with. And let, they live their life filled with emptiness and, and worldliness, and, and, and it always leads to an empty life when we try to fill that void with the things of the world. But hear me today, if we put our focus on seeking that that is spiritual, then we'll begin to, to reap a more bountiful blessing. And I'm talking about spirituality. I'm talking about God whenever I talk about spiritual, because spiritual in this modern time can be described in many different terms. But I'm talking about the spiritualness and the holiness of God. If you want to receive extra energy, and if you want to, to receive the fullness of spiritual blessings, and if you want to fill that void in your life, let me assure you that you can do that by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ today. 
uh, he will add to your ability to to gather all of that excess food and drink that you could ever want. In fact, when we drink of his fountain, we have uh, water that no one else knows of. When we eat from his table, we have food that no one else knows of. It's no wonder that that the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then other things will be added, the food that we need, the drink that we need. God will always meet our need. Now, let me reassure you by saying, not our greed, but our need. Worldly versus spiritual. Give me spiritual any time. I pray God's blessings upon you today as uh, you walk out into this world that he's created for us to enjoy and live in. And I would pray that you would go to the house of God somewhere to worship him in spirit and in truth. God bless you now.